right now the recording is in session so please let we be mindful of what you will say and how we they behave um i hope say everybody will behave in an official manner <coughs> yes obviously it's informal when we go allow jokes and stuff like that we're not just be mindful no more of what we they say um if i talk to certain individual and um they're not compliant most likely um we'll not go warn you twice i will get for delete you for that session you know if we get for negotiate or talk about it, anything we will do them later outside the session okay so now um my plan was for let dr kamara lead we in prayer but because dr kamara no day um i will ask sisi rugi for let you lead we in muslim prayer then at the end we could do a christian prayer and see i hope so you don't go mind for lead we in christian prayer at the end I know see, I don't mute you at the moment, so most likely you're not going to be able to talk, but I just they inform you, please. Okay? So, Sisi Ruge, um, if you unmute yourself, please, and then um, lead me in Christian prayer, um, in Muslim prayer, please. Okay. Um, I will just say, read the al -Fatia. No, Okay. Yeah? You. Yes, you lead I'll the prayer, you... then everybody else can oh. follow. Right. How do you rely on the Lord? I will say, 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 I will Maliki ya mudin, ya kana budi ya kana stain, idi na kira talmu stain, kira talmu na lam talahim, daini makuri ya lain wala dalin. Amin. Amin. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sisi Uge. Amin. Everybody with in attendance, thank you very much for attending, and I will pass the. The opening remarks because I can't say no more. This is an initiate and an initiative where the um, the civilian organization of Greater Manchester the lead and the project sponsor will naturally be the chairman. I will pass um, um, the audience to Rafale an opening statement, please. Akaloko. Yes. Um. Thank you, Mr. Pula. Um. Very welcome to you all. We are the welcome all man. Una kabo like we can talk am now with native language. Um, but because we don't get enough time now for say, I would like for get the old man in, introduce himself because one way we will understand each other. Would I would I don't need the forum, but let's move on. We're not about who today. So, me and Joseph Kalo coming at the chairman for the Sierra Leone Organization of Greater Manchester, my, my profession as social worker, area other services. So, we can't understand say, yes, we get for try and bring the community together. Slum na a community organization serving the purpose of Sierra Leone and CI in Manchester. Um, let's just fast forward. Um, the current issue within our community, where they actually everybody they focus at the moment, na the coronavirus pandemic, as we all know. Um, I get for make um, you know, strong say the coronavirus is real and yet remain a threat to individual. Now we community to the groups, now we community and community to community because we get our own community and within that we live within other communities then. I make a put some say community to community. What in that they mean? We the leaders them and the frontline professionals get no choice but for make unpresented decisions. So then decision then they with social workers and they make interventions we be saying are for save life and manage anxieties. So two weeks ago, me people them we don't they try a project when uh you know look after the over sixty five. This what uh, projects are done they run for two weeks now. Uh, we they prepare and deliver warm food and healthy to the over sixty five with um, you know mobility conditions or issues. Also, then get pre-existing. Then we don't get other issues them to do with their health. I mean, then um, would they bring the food all the way to the to their own homes? Then obviously will be attached other service as well, which not become effective or visible at the moment. Where we say would they offer for big prescription and drop them and uh, you know do shopping. But I don't think say people they would say the more appreciate you know what would they do the cooking which is fine but at least it's there you know for the community for when mm -hmm. and you know when when and how they need them we we'll go able you know support them through that 
So the food drive, as things stand, really people really appreciate them by the idea. And again, thanks to the executive, thanks to some of Buna Oden at this group now, we volunteer for the past two weeks, what they do, I really appreciate. And I hope say this thing not to just for a short term, for a long time as well. So I really appreciate you now. Um, come to the main point now. Um, the purpose of this meeting actually today and I just had a decision to what in, you know, slum organizations stand for and to what in with community want for Lord to do for them and to what in we promise as leaders when are the executive who promise yes we can do for the community. So we they come for bring the health and well-being information at a community level through the mother language when I create. Now I make we all what they are with the talk real. And that's the benefit we all they get at the moment. So with me now, I get the project facilitators when a group of you know well-established professionals where they come for can give we what in and what in they can deliver, what in and what they can do for support and community. So now that I get for now. For for now. Back to you, Mr. Fuller. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman Kaloko. Um, for the one that we just joined, we um, I'll be just done say before that this session we really do it's recorded. So please, we'll be mindful of the language because this um, we plan for put them out public. Um, we will be very proud of um, say, say alone, um, organization of Greater, um, Greater Manchester will run this initiative wherein it will prepare a platform for other people and follow so Lord will set a bright example because this we begin himself you never know because once something go online we begin it might get access to them so please whatever we contribute let it be something we will move the community forward okay um as i was saying before um dr kamara um saying he, he, he apologies Say yep. it will be going slightly late until we know um, we get conflicting priorities. I seen your um, consultant, I seen your medical doctor. So, um, but it will join me soon. So now that takes me to the next um, item, which is item four for Leona meet on a community project team. Okay, now the team this. When I don't meet uh, Mr. Joseph Kaloko, when I see your social worker. Uh, the um, civilian organization of Greater Manchester chairman. Okay, um, next on the list, now Dr. Kamal, we most of we know he will join <coughs> we later. But once he join we, um, he, he will give we new perspective as to would I be um, waiting and waiting, he will cover and why make this whole initiative important, not just for we community in Manchester, but also. Um, for the whole Sierra community. Because like we the chairman just say, this is a program we get for the, um, be delivered in we own Mamatong Creole, where we all go understand. But could thing they would understand that we they talk to you in English. But we they talk to you in Creole, the understanding you know, is, you know, improve, it's a lot better. Um, also, uh, Mr. Kamara and I are the group lead. We now don't put nine, we vote as we lead as the head because every group where you did, you get forget a head. Next, um, I'm going to introduce um, Miss Rugia to um, Kamara, we are a professional um, um, mental health nurse and health visitor. Um, and in role within the forum, it will be for talk um, in regards to mental health. Um, so I will, I will pass the audience to her for let it give we an overview of would I be a professional career so far in experience and also within it will bring um, 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 to in community, which kind of benefit it will bring to in community. So, uh, Ms. Gugat, so can you okay. take over, please? Yeah, uh, now good evening. Yes. Everybody don't join we, uh, now good evening. Uh, good evening. Yes, I just want for, first of all, welcome Una for join we, that this initiative we don't take. I'm glad for like people them seem interested for come on board so that we go sort of support um, the salon of, um, organization at Manchester in any form, any way we'll be able for support them. And part one of them reason and they na um, for support them to with the health, with the health, and then 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 how then they live their life, right? 
So I welcome una attend una thank you for when una join me. As soon I don't see una next they don't introduce me. Na mi ne mugugi kamara. I don't know Manchester for long long time. Up um I kind of England 1991. And I come. Can I go on? Yeah yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I came to Manchester 1991, and I don't know Manchester from where where I can I have to. I don't move for any sign. I don't know all this time. Now, me na mental health nurse, and I'd be a, I don't be a mental health nurse for let's say 15 years, but um, actively me na me na be mental health nurse for 10 years. I work in a ward where I meet all kind different type of mental health problems. Them where they go diagnose for people them both black man. Um, with man, anybody, um, not we admit that the world they're all getting the diagnosis. So, as a result, I get a lot of experience for work with them people in day. At, during that 10 years, day everything was going fine, but then I decided to say, you know, waiting, now move on because something happened at the world where I noticed for say promotion work we can get and don't forget them. So, now I say, you know, waiting, the best thing is now for like a move on. So, um Initiative can come out for say for go do health visiting. For, before I not be one for do am, I be think for say ah I don't want to do anything with the king. But then now I decide I say you know what before I can deny so not to go forward. Now I go do the health visiting. So I go down um, Hastings, pack all my stuff them go Hastings. I go do me one year health visiting and come back to Manchester. Mm. And I'm glad you are come. Well, I'm glad you are doing health visiting because. I'm glad you are, oh, I come back to Manchester. I'm glad you are, I can join a committee association organization staff again. And I'm glad you are joined the organization. Oh, As um, a health visitor, I'll be the one of people there are old, then comrade, then the woman, and then they will know the um, young comrade. For go see what they have in their the old, how they, 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 they cope with the picking them, especially for people that will just come out after from wherever part of the world will come out on the first time, Mama. It's difficult for you to look after people, let alone a new one. I let it down at two self, it's difficult. So I glad you are glad you're here. Open the eye to the inequalities them of, of um, health inequalities the way we way, way they when they happen, especially among the black people them as well. Also, me na a uh, mentor, so why be the work now the now where they the job where they do now, me na mentor to students them. Where, where they can have the work for the placement, mean a part of the staff, where they work with them, where they go out with them and educate them so that let them be fit for practice for when um, eventually where they don't um, sort of within, where they don't qualify, right? So I joined this group for provide the health information to the salon community. Now, one thing I just want to point out for today, the, the information what they give or this group, what they, what they, what they run them, we're not a consultant, we're not a um, nurse, or we're not a carer for anybody where they listen that information with the give people. So that's no more they understand because just like I say, where you where you talk, where with man talk to you, anybody talk English, sometimes you know they understand what they talk. You just go along with what they say. But if we're able to break things and down for una, una go able to go to your GP, you go remember for say, ah, now this has to this question has to be say, like ask, like you're waiting at the team. It better that the knowledge is power. You understand where you understand where you get a bit of knowledge there, you're able for 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 for, for us and 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 you find you find out for say the any way they, they happen to you, you're able for deal with them better where you know what's wrong with you and how for deal with them. So now the reason that they make us say, let be part of this group. Right? Now I'm very, very passionate about mental health, about any type of health self, but because mental health is my speciality, I'm passionate about mental health. Now, Mr. Ibrahim Sisse, okay. where I will, then go past, I will go past the talk to eventually, is self passionate about mental health. So we agree for say, what we will go do, we go split the different topic them in mental health, but we go get we own different topic them back where we will get um, in other areas, but make up for mental health, we will split. So me, we decide for say, me go take up um, the common mental illness, the way, they, way people and the experience, anxiety, depression, then. I will take up postnatal depression because a lot of times then come right away they can go after the number one in them, things that they happen to them, they don't know for saying up na depression they get, depending on what they go on na their life. So for me, na, na my own speciality than the way I want to talk about, plus any other thing we get for come, I will I will put them inside it. Right? So I hope say 
all the information we'll get for you now as time they go on it's not just not a one not a today no more to today no more not to for say now a few weeks now ongoing thing i hope say everybody will take on board what will they talk what will they um the advice will they be so that then self go understand what they're happy with them at their body and for able to talk to them gp or anybody with them go for go meet that other person they say let themselves know for say yes the person when they talk to themselves understand what they have to so once again i thank you una all very much for well now all join we and i tell una all thank you for when i listen to me and i hope say this initiative this venture will go on for local put manchester local put um, Sierra Leone organization um, of my greater manchester on the map let them let the manchester know for say yes salon people then they thank you very much thank you very much Sisiugi. Um, for the people that we just joined, we thank you very much. We people that realize for mute the the mic. Um, for let we comply with um, data protection and the GDPR. Um, I need for inform when I say this session is being recorded. So please let we just be mindful of what you will say and how we conduct yourself. And this session, once it don't be recorded, we'll have to put them public. Um, it's going to be available on Facebook and also we try to get a YouTube channel. <laughs> Okay, um, so please, I ask that like, if you know the talk, please mute your mic. Thank you. Um, so the next person I go make introduce himself to now, uh, we, um, uh, Mr. Abraham CC, um, a qualified social worker, and himself a mental health expert. But he will give na a detail um, 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 explanation as to would I be. Um, in your own journey and in your expertise and within and the benefit we will bring to the community. So, Mr. Ibrahim, the audience later, you, sir. Hello, good evening, Mr. Salon family. Now, they me clear, so? Yes. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Uh, as I say, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I know say a uh, few familiar faces, then, but yet still, I go for the honors for introducing myself again. Mr. Ibrahim, to say, and uh, me, I qualify in social work uh, and within the job role, you know, me, I practice educator as well. And uh, within that simply means, obviously, I support students uh, when they do finally into the social work degree program. Obviously, you know, that part of what I have to do as well. And uh, from what you we just spoke on as well, you know, briefly on that, the expertise of your mental health experience, it fall on two categories. Mostly, on the social aspect of how it affects the individual, not just within the young community, within how it affects the families as well, we might involve in or influence them. So that will be part of what I will try to obviously expand on as time goes on. And uh, in some of the conditions that we may will actually talk about, mainly obviously na, na, na OCD, we na, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. We, then obviously I will talk on dementia, stroke, Alzheimer's. Then I will talk about sleep uh, deprivation, which I believe say some of we the experience are now obviously during this uh, coronavirus. Some of you not get enough sleep at all, and how possibly we could manage some of the conditions in it. And I believe say during this session, we have to try to make it as much as interactive, for let people and get involved, and uh, and, and we'll, we'll give people in the opportunity for let them set able ask questions them at the same time as I said. Most of the sessions there, we'll not go to the club, dinner, we'll talk about who we'll let people get involved through the session, then we'll make sure say, everybody gets involved. And then, uh, again, when we get all the highlights, I will just say on that again, say, please, 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 let me be mindful to say, we not a doctor, we not a nurse, we are all here information, and we hope say, people make use of the information in there. Probably, the advantage is the advantage is it will delay hospital admission. And if that happens, then I did positive community and I believe we will get recognized for that. Say, well, okay, then community you provide the information here. Yeah. We don't see a very low turnout of hospital admission because when you go to a GP, obviously a GP comes up, say you don't do well, you need proof, you know, you do why whatever you do, continue for drum. Obviously, then you will delay for letting for that you fall in the hospital. So if you see say there's a, a drop in the number of people that will come out the community where they attend of people then they will not say we try for impact information to people then when a positive information and they say they make use of that information they will benefit them. So we'll be very happy to say 
Thank you, Anna. We, we all for them on board on this and make a good save with the, with the data in your local language because 10 out of 10, when you go to hospital or GP, you go see a GP. I guarantee you maximum time will give you 10 minutes. And within that 10 minutes, there's not much you can say. And as Ruki said earlier, now what you say, now what they say, tell you that they always like follow. And so, some of the time, you don't even get a chance to explain yourself properly. But some of the information I would provide is like kind of give you a sort of like a grounding to prepare yourself. If you get for good day, or probably going on a more spiritual as well, be that secondary information will really help you to improve yourself. So, I kind of don't say we try for now. So, I hope say we will work with you now, and I thank God say we will deliver this learning session in real language where we will make sure she will break them down to the simplest, to the simplest of uh, information where the benefit we all. So I'm glad you very much for this initiative where we all on start so, and I'll carry on say we all work together as a team. And in terms of delivery sessions, it could be a, a, a co-production between me and Ruby because we kind of like sit in the same field. So for a lot of duplicate uh, things then, what you Ruby could also say, or do it to uh, uh, deliver a session, we could have the background, likewise itself, we said deliver me you, we said the background. And I saw go for the coordination to say for the work together. So now that kind of uh, 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 coordination they will go for the work together. So I hope say we we'll I don't I don't I don't see uh, too much now. Thank you very much. I hope say we we'll continue with the next session. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Cisse. Um I hope say um we community don't understand so far, waiting at the role of Mr. Kaloko. Within uh, the benefits and the role of Ms. Uge, and within uh, the role and the benefits we Mr. CC will bring to the community. Next, we get a uh, we uh, nutritionist within the group, winner Ms. Fatima Kuguma. Um, she's a qualified and registered nutritionist and a professional within uh, BAME nutrition. So I will give the audience for let he explain to me would I be in journey so far and give we a background understanding of the benefit we get for being to the community. So Ms. Fatima, it's over to you, ma. Hello, my name is Fatima Koroma. I know they talk the Creole well, well, but I'll go try no more. Um, I'm glad the way on they can on this platform for get information for on our health, as health is better than wealth. Now, than the, now they, that they always say, than the my motto, where they stand by. Um, me, I, I study um, nutrition for the nutrition for me undergrad, and uh, they I, I study um, African food and how they integrate in the normal markets because then they are something where I feel say na na important thing where we therefore uh, work toward as well um, for for our, our food them for for them being in the market in a way where other people then go able for appreciate them the same way than they do for Asian food them uh, Chinese food them. Uh, and so on. But the most important thing was um, to understand how the food, the impact our health. Then then I, we lack now we community. We don't know how we therefore eat in the right way. And then there we the struggle with NAMIC, we get Boku people then, that we community where then they suffer with obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure mm -hmm. and high cholesterol. So we therefore look and see waiting at the problem because we food the food the way we they eat, not so the food itself not in bad. But if we they come abroad and we they begin for eat food way, uh, not so we we original food, now they we they begin for um get bad bad nutrition from, from the food way we they consume. So na in na me na me field, I want Mark we I, I go able we go able for get somebody where black way go able for direction in the right way because um i feel say a lot of black people then in the things do then the things say that um to eat healthy in a normal for weight people that is not true african food is healthy so we therefore know what we therefore eat we therefore know where we therefore, what we therefore eat so this is the right platform where when i get somebody where he gets that profession where he gets that uh, experience to help and understand and uh, help on uh, make the right decision on what you to eat. I do also my master's in uh, uh, public health nutrition, where I specialize more on uh, the nutrition sides of, of, of black children. There, uh, I begin for do cooking classes with um, BME children, and I taught them how to 
cook and eat healthy and make the right decisions. Now that the way I, I, I help them to make, make them understand what they need for eat. And then they helpful because a lot of the mommy then we had to talk to them and they said and they struggle because the beginning and the one eats weight food. That weight food is high in calorie, high in, in, in fat, high in sugar. Then they mix with African food, which is high and dense in carbohydrates. Now then they, I, I feel said they make the picking then put weight on. So now make now this platform, I go help the salon community for um, create menu plans, uh, give advice, uh, especially in uh, this uh, time period where a lot of people they don't know what in, they therefore eat for make them immune right. system strong. It's not to do with us. Recommendation for vitamins and minerals oh. where they need for strengthening yeah. the immune system. Yeah. Sure. I also talk on how they therefore change their, their diets. So we know we don't say we when we within abroad we they eat a westernized African diet, let's say, where we they eat sometimes we go eat English food, sometimes we go eat Namios we eat Italian food, sometimes we go eat some other food. So we therefore understand how to limit both sides of what we are eating so that we're keeping it balanced. So that's why I'll be um, helping. Sorry for the cure, the cure is bad, but <laughs> um, that's why I'll be able to help with. Um, if there's any questions, please don't um, be afraid to, to give any questions out, but that, that is all. That's my background. Thank you very much, Fatima. Um, for me, for the audience, they will turn up a bit late. Um, just a quick overview. Um, these sessions they have, therefore they do them weekly. And all these sessions, we're going to record them. And before we start, um, we'll not go record because obviously a lot of chitty chat you can be gone. But once the session kick off, we do record. And presently, they record so please we people enjoy and we will ask say, let them mute the mic and while we really facilitate we will ask let nobody ask question at that time and if you ask question you can write the question to the facilitator you can send them to me there's a facility for that within the app or you can wait at the end we will give a time for let una ask questions and also if you need to ask you know question during the session because until some people think in the shame or for whatever reason we get an email where I will share at the end where you can send you questions to and we'll make sure say that question they get answered. Um, this session and when it get recorded, it will be available on Facebook and we'll also the plan for open a YouTube channel where we will put them where it will benefit not just the Manchester community but all salon community around the world. So we Manchester will be really proud for able for come up with an initiative like this where it will help the young community. Okay. Um, the next person on the list, it will be myself. Um, I will get for, you know, tweak around with me, device them a bit, so I'll be able to see what they talk. So I'll be able to one minute, please. Right. Um, will you see me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, my name is Timu John Fuller. We are uh, my full name. Uh, me a uh, business IT consultant. I uh, work within the civil service for five years. I work for the Ministry of Defense. I work for the Department for Works and Pensions. I work for the Job Center. I work for Home Office. And uh, my last posting was with HM Revenue for the investigations where I've been put, I've been posted on the corporate um, office at Salford. Um, in my IT consulting, I don't work with um, various um, local housing and local government. I also don't work with various banks, uh, Barclays, HSBC, Mastercard. Um, that's my own experience. Um, when it comes to this group, um, last year we've been getting a meeting where in the community we ask for something like this. So um, now they will take the initiative and me take them upon myself, say, giving me background. Um, uh, for be the project lead, which is the reason why I did this group. Uh, me not to a health professional, so I don't go for the deliver sessions. Um, but what I there for do now for make sure see the team gets all the logistics where they need for help them for letting them be successful. So then I'm your role. Um, Dr. Kamara, as soon as I can see from the picture, nine are the group lead. Um, but unfortunately, he late today because he be the work, and you know, as we all know. Um, doctor work and a senior consultant as he be and your work can be conflicting something maybe don't plan for finish early so if we'll be able to join the session 
but I think it'll make him way home. If he if he reach home in time for they join me, then he will join me. If not, I will say I will apologize on his behalf. So now what I will do, I will ask if anybody gets a um, question, I will ask for the, the unmute the mic and ask questions. Or I can unmute the person if they, if they if, you know, I can unmute, I, I'll submit, I'll, I'll unmute everybody. But if I do that, it will be a lot of noise because people can get background noise. So I will ask when the person unmute himself and ask any question where they want to ask. And like what I've been promised, just now, there's the email there. If you want to send any question, maybe you feel shy, maybe you don't want Moment that you can say you know want to play, you know cause noise. I will say send your questions to that email there. We will make sure see your question gets answered. Okay. So any questions, please. You can send any question to any member of the team except um, Dr. Kamal. We obviously know they don't have anybody else who can send questions. Okay. And here about on mute you in a bit. Uh, Yes, Auntie Abba, you can go ahead. Um, I'm not asking any question at this moment because um, I think it's better to ask question. We, um, we will probably talk English, but where the, where the discussion is, is you know, right, um, carrying on. Waiting one on a logistic. You want to with this, we are, or you want to let me do waiting I do so when we need to ask questions. Um, I will say a better follow with this way, and in that way, they are able to control who that are they letting. Um, it doesn't say I will pick on any one individual specifically, but if I see say that person they be done raising, and while somebody else they talk, I will get become a force count for some. And also, okay. we took it for understand if I not end up choose somebody, please then let the person not feel say nah, anything personal, just that if we simply take every single question, because this session order for be just available to just people in a Manchester. Mm -hmm. Once the links start go out and the popularity of the program, we they look and say it might go bigger than that. So people from right around the world can join at any time. So what I will say mm -hmm. is we will cut the session down. Maybe we will see in a five minutes, but every session we'll get only five minutes we'll, we will allocate to questions. So maybe in a ten minutes we'll allocate to questions. Now, if we don't reach the allocated time, unfortunately, some question in there or some people in there would not raise their hand, we'll not be able to get to you, which is the reason why I make, I make um, an email where if somebody not able asking question live, we can encourage them, follow them, send them by email. But yes, it would be better for the people to raise their hand. In that way, they will be able to do them in an orderly fashion rather than we get four or five people at the same time talking. And nobody not be able to be in company. Okay. Okay, my last question. You know, yes. first of all, we use the chats because the chat mm -hmm. said you can let question there. So at least let yeah. people they not forget the question. And you can pick up on your email, on your um, messaging after, but at least yes, if you need, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's all. Yeah, what I'll be say during the time where I'll be talk just now, I say, um, people can also use the chat. You can send a message directly to me, or you can send them to the facility to ask the question while because I'm telling you, some man okay will be a which see the end because it go don't forget. Mm -hmm. So, the what I mm -hmm. advise is you type the question, send them to the facility to send them to me when the facility to finish. You go answer your question because, as we know, um, we the give um, a presentation. If somebody asks you a question in between, something they they can take you off off track. So I will say, let everybody mm -hmm. just wait, be patient. If you send your question by text or you write your question down a piece of paper or pad, wait at the end of the session, you will get your opportunity for ask questions. Thank you. Okay. Any any more questions? Thank you very much, Antiaba. Adija Lorenzano. Hello? No, 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 me, sorry. He's on mute. Other than, other than, other than a mute. I see somebody put a mute, eh? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, that's yeah. better. Oh, sorry. 
And they say, um, this now we own session. And they ask, say, do ya, if we get questions for ask, let we ask. That was the only way I will be able to make the program better. Because we they do this not because of we will the panel on our we. We open for that. Okay, we open for let everybody else participate. So if now know of any other health professional we interested, let's get in touch. Either mm -hmm. with me, your man, or any member of the um of the executive. Now it not necessarily means it get for facilitate any program um, and any session. If you not get the time, that's fine. But having more health professionals go help how we structure with sessions then going forward. They mm -hmm. always get a added benefit where they can give in the background in developing materials. You know, there's always room for improvement. So let people not say, oh, well, are too, are too busy. If now once for a week, you're able to attend the normal planning session, attend the planning session, help other people. If you're able to deliver a, um, a session, that's fine. Somebody else will deliver. I did just, um, they say you are angry, but I don't see you. If you are angry, um, unmute yourself and deliver, please. I don't need you. Um, yeah, hello. <laughs> Good evening. Me and really want for the one for them safe. Oh. I think um just as a um, a guidance when yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe when you demodulate in the future because we'll get for the get a lot of go to kind of scroll onto the different screens so that you go able to see the hands they already there because I've put my hands up for a long time. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, my own question are for Fatima. And thank you very much for your time, Fatima. Because okay. things say um, nutrition and mm. food now one of the biggest things we, um, we community kind of lack information about. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of times, you know, there are contradicting information out there about the things that we eat and uh, also how nutritious they are. For yeah. example, palm oil. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it is something that um, one minute then they say good, yeah. the next minute it's not good, mm -hmm. the next minute, but you know, when you look at um, the trend of how we people them ages ago, like we great grandparents them, how they eat palm oil and how long they lived. Exactly. So exactly. This was the... Um, then they're always the source palm oil from the north. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the process will not involve any kind of chemical. Mm -hmm. But then you now get the refined palm oil where they make now this part of the world where yeah. it's different from we own kind palm oil. So then when you're talking to health professionals, like for example, the reason we can say this, when you get people then because people they're like we we are big bone. Yeah. And we kind of we structure different to other people like mm -hmm. a Caucasian person or so. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we food most of the time when you get health visitors and people they're like that will only understand about the Western food and then sell the take what's in the area from the media. When you tell them, Oh yeah, I cook this with palm oil, automatically then they start for say you the ghee, you picking them, food mm. will not help you for them. Mm. Yeah, that's right. So, because of that, we get a lot of issues. So I think, say, this is a really, really good thing mm -hmm. because for see the, the nutrition are benefit. Me and one person will get for reach out to you. Mm -hmm. So I like um, contact of how I can do that because I want to talk um, on a personal basis about something where they go on where I need for, for get advice on. Because yes. mm -hmm. even though I can say it, but because it's not my field, Mm -hmm. It wouldn't go down right if I get for say that to him. But when we get somebody like a UN a nutritionist and yeah. also specialize mm -hmm. in African food and stuff, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. makes it more better and add value and weight to any argument well, I can take forward and say, look, mm -hmm. I'm feeding this person this or I'm eating this. Mm -hmm. And this is the nutritional value and it is from somebody that has done the studies that this you know that that kind of um thing they so i think so this is really really good and it also will help some of we for know what to put in our body in order for reduce the the sickness they one of them very yeah. common in people them of color like diabetes especially type 2 yeah. diabetes um cholesterol and all angina all in kind things and they when our food related disease them
Yeah. So yeah. So thank you very much for that. But yeah, please, I'd like to be in touch to get more advice um, on certain things like the do's and don'ts. And I also they look forward to the menu. Yeah. what you say and also some of the advice we could get around some of the food then when are we on food then yeah that's that's fantastic thank you thank you very much I, i'm gonna speak english now because the creole that I spoke before <laughs> I, i'm embarrassed but um um no thank you very much the 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 thing that i struggled the most with is first of all was getting even um to to do the research in in my own people I struggled for over, almost a year to get um, ethical approval. So before you do any study, you have to get ethical approval to show that what you're doing is ethical. They made me struggle with that for over a year. So I feel like in, in some way, there's, there's some sort, sort of um, agenda in making us believe that what we're eating is bad. I want to put it out there that what we're eating is not necessarily bad. So as the, the prime example is palm oil. The palm oil, the issue, the main issue with palm oil and, 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 and the fact that they're telling you that palm oil is bad is if you're using it in a large quantity, too much of anything is bad. Too much of anything is bad. Uh, palm oil is actually really rich in vitamin A, which is, has got loads of benefits. One being even for your eyesight, one is being for your internal health and your general health. Vitamin A is very important, you know. So if you over consume palm oil, then of course you're going to have the adverse effect you're going to to put on weight you're going to put uh, uh, um, have diabetes you're going to have but it's not just that for me the main thing is also the fact that we're eating a westernized diet including that of the african diet so if you balance each the right way i believe that that's the way that you know a lot of the the community is going to be able to to, to eat the right way but also it's, it starts with people like me I want to meet another person that's doing nutrition that is in, that is 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 actually really looking to change the diet of of our people in 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 the UK and in and around Europe because in Africa I can tell you that I have my cousins I have other other family members they are healthy the when when you've got a big belly apparently in Africa you you've got money that you're you're healthy it's not not the case really it's not the case is it but I think that that's that's the main aim of, of me being part of this group so thank you very much for that feedback and i will forward all of my information and um, i also have an instagram page where i'm starting to share um african um foods and the nutritional benefits and and how they can help you um overcome certain um dietary diseases so i'll forward that as well um but yeah thank you for the feedback and um we'll continue to to to, to give this information, but thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Fatima, and thank you very much, um, Adija. I am thank you. Uh, basically, um, I use a different laptop when I make um, a day on two devices at the moment, but definitely by the time we get the next session, I'll make sure say, um, um, this no happen. But I understand exactly what you say. Now, if you be joined at the very start, you will yeah, yeah, make an apology already. For see, um, with our, I'll be the expect here for doing stuff, um, you know, get work that way really because obviously I'll be the look after the picking you know, see, we do on a forced um holiday, but definitely, uh, my apologies, but on the next session, um, um, I'll rectify the issue, okay? Um, any further questions, please? Anybody else see anybody putting an up? Maybe I don't miss somebody putting an up. Yes, now nah, I'll be wanting yes, to make a contribution. Yeah, um, your phone get feedback. I don't know if you listen to them on two devices. You'll get for pause one. You'll get for mute one. I mean, sorry. Your phone they give feedback. So mute one by your device and talk by one. So if not two places, you look at Maybe you say get the same issue as me where you know, use two devices at the moment. So I always do mute one before I talk on the other one. Or else you'll get the feedback. Okay, you get me now, player. Yeah. Yes. Um. If you introduce yourself, which is your name, please, then you ask your question. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Not Justin. Okay. Yes, Justin. How are you, sir? Yes. Yes, no, sir. 
Yeah, uh, it's, it's, I just want to highlight something to do with the, uh, yeah. you know, the, the nutrition side of things. Of course, yeah. minute nutrition is just, um, you know, with them food they would eat now, yeah? Mm. Yeah. especially the, the chicken itself. Yeah. Yeah. We don't get, uh, there was a documentary on BBC, I think, uh, some time ago, whereby, you know, then chicken, how wouldn't they use the chicken and I wouldn't breed the Naya. Now, if they find out in a salon, oh, they do them, they, they, they take a you know, no, natural time for the chicken to get to a particular bad. stage. Whereas Naya now, mm. hello? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Whereas Naya now, within a few weeks, they don't grow. Then they feed them that mm. much antibiotics. So they find out so people can get a problem, we then go for go get a help in the hospital, then give them, for example, antibiotics. You know, they work again at their system because the thing don't, they so much, you know, do the chicken with the eat, with them meat here, you understand? So I just thought I'd highlight this as well. And also the, the thing we, uh, this lady say for this menu, how soon then we will work on that day for what we get them. We couldn't say very, very important for what we get into the day. And me, me say now one person we go let forget that, that menu day. Okay. Yeah, so, so the, the menu can be done um, quite, quite quickly because I have all the tools. Um, uh, at the moment, I, I, I'm, I'm off work, as, as, as of course you know that of the condition. But normally, I work as a new product development. Um, so that's how I'm able to to use um, those tools to be able to you know set up a menu plan. But this menu plan is not is not going to change what you would normally eat. If that makes sense, I I, I don't want to change because that's that's the reason why it's difficult for for our, our own people to follow these diet plans that, you know, when you go to, to a, a, a nutritionist, for example, the, the person is most likely of, a, of white, isn't it? Most of, most of the time, because I've not, I've not met that many um, black nutritionists in, in, the, in Manchester, in the Manchester area that I know of. So what they will do is they'll give you a menu that has got all these European foods, I'm not saying that I will not put any European foods in there because at the end of the day, we need to, you know, venture out to, in order to be able to eat in a healthy way as well. But I want to, to just stress that it would be the foods that you would normally eat, but I would be recommending ways to swap things, ways to uh, reduce your portion size because that's the most important thing as well. And also introducing new things that you could try in order for you to keep in that path. But the main thing that I want to stress is that I don't want to change what you're eating already because as I told as I keep saying I've, I've, I've researched I've done all of this and I know that African food has got many 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 health benefits many many so um that I will work on that and I'll, I'll obviously let you know the progress of it but it shouldn't take me too long to come up with one and and, and share that with the community at all Thank you very much, Fatima. No I'm just to watch what she just said, um, Justin, and everybody else who didn't listen. Um, the way I get for happen, um, I'm glad we would have asked all in yeah, because I didn't hear for shape how the future sessions in get for go. Okay. Um, but definitely, like, like how Fatima does assure everybody, say, you will come up with something. Now, um, I've been saying earlier that Dr. Kamal will join me late. Um, he don't join me now. Um, so I go on new term. Um, then I will go back um, for like we will give me an insight into you know would I be in, in professional life and waiting value game will add you know to this session. Uh, I say before nine Dr. Kamana the group lead, so it will get for to be a little bit more. Also, it will give you an insight into the different subjects they will get for cover going forward. Dr. Kamana, it's over to you, sir. Uh, hello. Yeah, good day, you, sir. Hello, David. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you. yeah group. Uh, good evening and uh, good evening and uh, uh, apologies for the uh, second wife. Now you take hold of me. Okay. Uh, I did on call and uh, sadly, I mean, the hope say I go left by six o'clock. Where I go get enough time for get myself ready for this re meeting today. But unfortunately, it's like we, uh, the big boss don't care, don't talk. See, we don't pass the peak. Nine people then decide, say, well, this one, now we're in for commercial. So they can't today, let's see, then call them. You know. So 
apologies for that. But um, I don't think I need introduction. <laughs> As the word say, is it, Dr. Kamar? Well, obviously, God bless me, say, uh, I do medicine, and uh, I don't do that for the past, how many, 27 years, maybe longer. Uh, don't they hope, say, I go do my best for with society, for with people that not only in a year, but back home. So uh, congratulations to now all for a job well done. Clearly, now this not be my wish for all the year, yeah, but uh, as they can say, better late than never. So we take out thank you for that. And uh, as I say, kudos to now all and uh, uh, many, many congratulations for me who actually for able to do this thing. So uh, as they can say, uh, every cloud gets a silver lining. So COVID-19, obviously, uh, don't do a lot of damage and it gets a lot for answer for. But at least one positive something we don't come up from, I mean, that we don't see, say, we people, them, they're vulnerable, you know. Therefore, then they were not able to get opportunity for make, uh, you know, they able for go, go get their own small lily and nothing. Uh, at least we look after them from that side, that point of view. And again, obviously, the health, as I say, not the most important thing in anybody in life. Because not only when you get world body, now you go say you get uh, gentry. If you know well body, you know get well body, believe you me, you can spend all your life and all your money, all your wealth, but definitely <laughs> not that sickness is angle, can you go? So we tell God thank you for that. And I think say I'm grateful to all uh, the people that we can together for make this thing take off like I did up so um, you know, it really is uh, as I say, a good thing for we, for we all, because me ready for let we help yourself, you know, for let we go forward. The inequalities where we see amongst we young people them um, compared to we weight counterparts uh, is huge. Uh, and vastly, uh, we yourself get for take blame for that, really. Now I make you fine for make we teach with people them, um, we will get the opportunity for no sir we day for make we able for forge your head, for move forward and get for improve them. As I say, uh, the hadith of the Prophet, me being a Muslim, and this being Ramadan, I'm not going to talk without, and I'll quote that. They say in the hadith of uh, the Prophet, peace be upon him, if you save one life, it's like you don't save the whole of mankind. And if you take one life, i.e. you kill somebody, it's like you don't kill the whole of mankind. So if by God's grace, through this we talk, through this we interaction, through this we gathering, we're able to help one person self, save the life and in go and actually get this thing, you know, going by word of mouth, expand down to this and that and all that. And it begin to expand not only from Manchester, but go for the region and maybe for, if you like, nationally, clearly, we don't do something. And, and that is what Nami aim, that's what we know the aim for, for all this time. I mean, funny enough how they call me for go pray in uh, this fashion show, now the ten that way God give me the opportunity to say, I tell you what, make a talk, but within the affect we own people them. And I think from there on, people and see say this is not a good opportunity for make we walk hand in hand with we own people them, especially now we we no go worry about transportation, you know, because sometimes then they will possibly not get transportation, not get outside for for each and all that. Or we get for even pay for the hall and things, therefore begin together for do uh, small, small uh, yam yam. Literally, clearly, uh, this one helpful because we can do the expenditure no more than for level for Sidona O's and day one place, and obviously get for benefit from this. So, as I say, me now all rounder. I do general medicine. I do surgery. I do orthopedics. You know, and now as it is, I did not A &E. So an A and E, as you know, from day zero. That is the one we did at Bele, to the day win at the last day. Like uh, uh, Captain Win at Colonel now, you know, uh, Tom Moore, is it? We go see them. So, Mano, Umano, became born now, and old Bowie or old Mami within 90 something years, maybe 100 years, we the see. Mano, Umano, we the see. So, clearly, all kinds of sickness. I'm not going to say me a jack of all trades, but clearly, I will get a, a very good idea of all the secrets that I make within our ANE. Because ANE, all things they come. You know, you all get belayed, you all just born, you know, the and the get problem with them, the food. Like how we already just know Fatima they talk about. People in the way get bulimia. People in the way get, uh, 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 you know, anorexia. They all they come. This is not to do with nutrition. 
uh, social services, people in the way want kill themselves, people in the way they hear voices there. All that thing they will deal with, you understand? So clearly, me there for support this group and uh, prepare for doing whatever it takes for let like, go this thing take them forward. And I'm so happy, say, by God's grace, through COVID, this thing they come to fruition. So I thank you now once again. I know I believe at the point because on tens of man, one quote fast and things like that. But I'm absolutely over the moon and this is music to my ears. So please, 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 whatever when I want, when I guide way and I, I'm pretty sure say we go for do this thing as when I go one time. And this now the beginning of big, big things to come by God's grace. So thank you once more and bravo to everybody. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamar. Um, I will go back now to the audience for the ask any question now that Dr. Kamar don't come on board as well. Maybe when I will get questions or maybe when I will get an idea, when I want to give an idea or suggestion as to the next topics they will do on the And if you are able to think of something now, bravo. If you are able to think of something now or maybe somebody they shy, maybe in background or side they in noisy, feel free for send we email at this email address. Um like I know Mona Una will decide and Una will help you for decide which thing will be with next topics them going forward. We do have topics already I, I get a question. The topics they do already we uh, we don't develop. Um, yes, is that Auntie Abba? Auntie no, Memona? this this is Auntie Memona from Charlton. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I yes, just get a question because the um well I know we say I meet um, this idea with the high blood pressure and diabetes within the black community tend to be very high, and at, at times people only they take them seriously. But by the time now we people in contempt for taking seriously, they don't reach to a stage where um, it, it find it difficult for for rectify. So just um, with um, the medical nutritions and um, feel are we as um, within the uh, BMA black community how we go manage for um, take care of um, diabetes, high blood pressure, how we able to manage to reduce that. Because when they can say, well, na na because um in a, na heritage or something they say na the food way they eat. So I think it will be a nice topic for start with. Okay. Thank you very much, um Auntie Memona. Um I will pass that down to um the nutritionist. We go liaise with Dr. Kamar and then go develop something. We will make sure see that goes down as well as one of the topics then we will get for talk about um, going forward. Um like what I've been see at the very beginning, um these sessions they are not too good for they happen every week. So we get a lot of topics that we'll get for go through, and as soon as no more the um, health is a wide, wide, very wide top, uh, um, um, sector. So there's enough topics. So I would say let everybody keep an eye out, you know, keep um, your eyes peeled for the different sessions that we we'll get for the come up. If you miss a session, it's not the end of the world. It could be available on Facebook, and also it could be available on YouTube. Okay, um, I will go to Antiaba next. Antiaba, please. Yeah, um, I just I just try for understand the the wait the format because my because wait for me been think say and try to understand say we they get a presentation and then we can ask questions, but it seems to me it's just an introduction of the expertise that it look for say now we get for forward questions, so I'm just a little bit confused. In okay. terms of the intention, okay. Yes, this first session, as you see, is an introductory session. It's a session for the. It's a session for the. We ex. Sorry, I'll go for mute. Something please. Yeah. All right. Um, this session, now a session for the. We introduce the team to the community. Okay. It's also a session for where we explain to the community what in the whole program they about. It's also a session for where we do um, like a dry run for where we see how easy it is for the community connect to this platform because as we know, not to everybody in our IT literate. Some people then go find them difficult and whatever. We just want to see exactly how we give on the session successfully. Does it make sense? So this is an introductory session. This is not a main session here. Next week, we will give the topic out. We will be COVID-19, an overview of them. We will give the topic out um, after the session. It will most likely the poster will be out tomorrow. We will send them back on the forum. Every week, that's what we do. Um, in time, we will to provide like a calendar, like like a timeline. We want to go see in advance all the topics that we want to discuss. 
maybe the next three, four, five, or ten topics on go don't see. So you go pick and choose where you are attend. If you miss anyone, you can go online, either Facebook or YouTube for uh, for recap. And if you get any questions, you feel free for send them in. The reason we make we ask as well for topics where people in go yeri, maybe topic where we don't go put maybe for like come up say maybe around in November term. If you find out say the appetite amongst the public. It's a lot. People are one year but then they we can bring and come before because not to we self we do one for not for una. Whatever we put out, that's something we will benefit the general population, the general public. Not just something we we think say because right now the topic they all don't come up with. Now we think we think, but we also ask for let una self participate. Don't say feel part of the whole process. Now I make her say if somebody want come on board, come on board. If only now now a short while no more you want come on board or maybe you just get an advice for pass pass the advice we're happy for take them on board we go look them and every session as well going forward we we'll try for see how we we'll able to get um, people and for give you feedback not just by email maybe just go some side where we we'll ask maybe two or three questions where people can say yes the session good or no the session not good now this and this and this we need for improvement i hope so thank that you very yeah thank you very much for that well so can i ask a question now then sure <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, my focus. I'm sorry, I've got to say this in English because um, I'm sorry because obviously I'm much more frequent in speaking English. So, my okay. focus is um, mental health, and the reason being, I believe in our community, particularly, there's a lot of hidden mental unwellness for lots of reasons that we know and not know. But I think we also do not have a pathway to actually share that information in a way that we will feel comfortable and have the confidence to do so because of all the stigma that's attached to um, com a community like ours. So for me, I think we, when you think about a topic to think about, please do think uh, exactly about this issue. I know uh, Mr. Sisse and uh, Ms. Rugi there will be talking about it, but it's really prevalent in our com community beyond no measure. And with COVID-19 and post-COVID, I think it would even trip, triple, triple or whatever. So I'm just conscious that that is the topic of conversation, but not only just as a topic of conversation, but more around what we, what advice to be giving and what pathways to develop so that people can begin to feel confident in coming forward to actually discuss some of their mental unwellness. Thank you very much, um, Antiaba. Um, this is something we will be done discuss. Um, I will pass them on to Dr. Kamar because that's something we we discuss for long look at which are the issues the way they happen now and also post COVID. You know, when we come out of this lockdown, which are the things that we'll get for experience, which we expect to get for happen. So I will say I will pass them to Dr. Kamar. Um, let me see if it's online. Yeah, I will pass them to Dr. K Dr. Kamar. Let it give you an overview of waiting and we don't discuss and how we plan for take that this subject forward. Dr. Kamar, please. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you for the question. Not a question, actually, and a statement as it were, an observation. Uh, not a question. Now, obviously, um, what that word for? In every uh, on topic where we take, any of the topic where we decide for undertake and maybe explore and uh, go through them um, in a detailed fashion. Uh, clearly, there's always room for the nutritional aspect of it, as well as the mental health aspect of it. Now, if you talk about mental health in general, it's a big, big subject. It's a broad subject. So clearly, uh, I could be, you know, uh, uh, speaking out of turn or talking out of turn here, because people in the way probably not their own specialty, the likes of uh, Rugi and uh, and uh, and uh, Mr. Abraham uh, uh, Sisi, you know, and uh, obviously a few more, and even me on Webster, you know, obviously in a mental health not your specialty. So clearly, uh, we can break them down into the uh, topics that we now of uh, you know, if you like, absolute importance. And like you mentioned, now, as I've been the talk, if you remember, they were having the talk. Nada uh, fashion show day. We talk about postnatal depression. We talk about um, schizophrenia. We talk about 
uh, psychosis, we talk about uh, borderline personality disorder, all the things that they, you know what I mean? Drug induced and not drug induced, hereditary as, uh, versus uh, acquired. The thing that they all, that we will talk about. Now, make as I say, this is not just uh, a trial run for make we see waiting at the, uh, if you like, the, the uptake from the young community. Perhaps when you go to your year now, you could probably pass the word to you know a few more people and we go actually join me so that next week we will get a better audience and obviously we want to be guided by now. As I say, we feel say the first topic we will talk about or we will need for going to now COVID-19 because we think doing that the current topic now that they are engaged everybody in art, all man anxious, including myself, you know, everybody they worry. So clearly it goes without saying that uh, this is not the first you know topic we'll go look into. However, if we're not thinking another topic they win uh, more of you know of, of more urgency, then by all means we can go upon that. But I think say without a shadow of a doubt, COVID-19 is what we, we kick off with. Then of course if nothing say followed by um, 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 the, the mental health side that's fine. But I think say in COVID-19 itself there is the mental aspect of it that needs to be looked at. No questions about that. Because what you do, uh, if you watch, not wanting to detract or maybe let the cat out of the bag, 25% increase of uh, domestic abuse so far since, you know, the outbreak of this thing. Yeah? People that move used to no use for day to get in the house. So clearly, since they need to get in the house, then they see all the things that win them, they've not been there for need for tolerate or for accommodate. Therefore, one thing lead to another, you understand? And don't use for goods and turn boys' night out or girls' night out, go get a client and come. Now that's in the end of day because they're all locked. So clearly, it becomes a bit of a ooh, uh, stepping into one another's territory. You know I mean? And so clearly, into one person in face. So that they create a bit of anxiety and then one thing lead to another. Plus, the financial aspect of it. And then we be not the handling for an hour. Then they win are self employed. So all that give rise to, you know, uh, this raid if you like, nerves and of course, tempers, tension, and then one thing into another. Then of course, as I say, statistically, there's been a 25% increase in, in, in rise in, in, in the, the domestic abuse. So these are all things we're going to look into, as I say. But definitely, mental health, we all admit it, it is underdiagnosed and it's definitely uh, not well represented, put it that way. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, uh, you do, but uh, that's specifically what I was speaking about, Dr. Um, Mohammed. Um, what I was actually saying is exactly what you're saying is because I'm really concerned that COVID-19 is having an impact and we don't even recognize that it's having some kind of an impact in our communities because some of our communities are hidden with things that bothers them. And that's what I'm really concerned about, how we can support our communities thinking post-19 as because we know what the issues are now but thinking post-19 what can we do to support our communities in in developing some kind of a pathway to develop their confidence to come out and feel free to express how they're feeling without being stigmatized that was my question yeah no no i, I as i say uh, it's a fair news there's no two ways about it as i say in any topic there is that and as you rightly mentioned the, the only issue where we get here is that we as a body go probably signpost somebody go probably say okay we, we're able for system that this is a problem in fact can't we are joined uh, we can screen people then and then obviously refer them to the GP or to any other organization that we go for deal with that. We obviously not go able as a body, i.e. The, the medical side of things, you know, the, this particular well, body uh, past gentry, I don't think so for cater for that particular aspect waiting as a community go do. Then they could probably be more uh, linked to within the organization, the slum will do uh, maybe channel through us. But in terms of uh, uh, signposting, in terms of coming to terms with waiting at the reality in terms of uh, looking at ways and means of actually getting people in for improve uh, and maybe uh, decrease the stigmatization clearly that's something that that's something we go for do we go for looking to that medically but the social side of things is something we as i say now more as a whole as a body you know maybe the organization could probably uh, set up an you know a sort of a, a, a body or a committee we go look into the social needs 
of people that post COVID-19. But clearly, mental health is a realistic issue and that is something we need to be dealing with, you know, uh, in any topic whatsoever. Thank you. Now you're welcome. Thank you very much, Auntie Abba. Um, have you got any further questions? And remember, um, we also have the email we have to share before we finish. I will share them again. I will put them also on the general forum, uh, forum let everybody get access to them. Um, if you get any questions, maybe you feel shy or like I said, I'm going to be background noisy for, or for whatever reason, you want to send me a written Hello. feedback. We're happy to come on board. Yes, Ms. Sifin. Yeah, um, I've been just one talk about the um, the question we Abba raised with regards to um, mental health. You know, um, with regards to this all, like I've been saying before, when I kind of put down there at the general meeting, this whole discussion started from that as Dr. Kamara gave background from the fashion show where we attend. So I've been telling and say I go all um to in word where it been permitted if people want to talk about any topics, is willing to engage. So I say, well, we get for and come to a community level. So hence the reason I've been bringing that topic, they come at the meeting where we all and then now today there is this um, well body talk would on come forward to the community. Saying that, I think I kind of um, left the set up where um, uh, they do at the moment even though we know say mental health is quite an important thing and it's quite a, a serious thing within we community. But one thing we for all to know is that people sometimes are very, very skeptical about talking about their mental health issues. But I think say, if we kind of um, left her in this way and then allow people for kind of warm into the whole well body thing, people would then become comfortable saying that, okay, this is not just for people then who can't know about what they are they suffer mentally, because some people will look at it if there is so much emphasis on mental health, mental health. Some people will look at it for say, oh, then just one kind of business. You know our kind of people that we, we've got in our communities. But the more people feel comfortable that, okay, yes, they've spoken about this, they don't, they don't, they don't talk about men, they don't talk about nutrition, they don't talk about angina, they don't talk. So it's not targeted at just me who get mental health issue. Then people will feel more comfortable for come out and talk about waiting at the worries and waiting at the mental health, whether it's close relatives, whether it's friends, whether it's this. Then Unaki will pick up on that because just like waiting, Dr. Kamara said, there are so many different types of mental health agrophobia, schizophrenia, bipolar, you name it. So it's quite a wide range of topics. But yeah, I, I think for me personally, my advice would be let the community kind of guide the, the professionals as to the topics that should be discussed. That will make them very more fluid than um, the professionals coming forward and say to the one for talk about this tomorrow. People maybe might start disengaging that way. Exactly. That's correct. So that's, that's not just my own concern and um, comments what I want to make around um, the, the discussion of health because, yes, mental health is part of health, but let's ease it slowly and then get the, the, the ball rolling. Then, because sometimes some of we can get mental health issues that we don't even know about, but once the topic comes up and then we we'll discuss them in a very friendly way with um, discussions from the professionals and then maybe people from the community giving their own input. Some of we go start for notice, some of us say, oh, maybe I'm bipolar because Sunday Aki, they do this tomorrow, they do, you know, that kind of thing and they, then they will be able then to reach out either through this medium or individually to the professionals they would in the community who don't give them. Thank you very much, Mrs. Sifino. Let me mute this again with my nursery school. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. Sifino. Um, any more questions or suggestions or feedback? Yes, I, I just second uh, waiting Adija to suck. Um, yes, it, Yeah, because... Um, 
as you say, it better way when I win at professionals, them when I know what they go on with him because um, the idea of mental health, there's always a stigma behind it, you know, and uh, like what the doctors say and oh, when I all don't mention, <laughs> we don't be um, self isolate for over six weeks. Or, you know, lock we self ourselves, but who people are not going to know the effects past this now we go because everybody will begin to become so scared, you know, for meet with people, they will be get for begin for work, you know, all them things that they, 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 they go get for affect we now we're not going to know exactly what you did because we there still now we comfort zone within our houses. There's some of we they unfortunately they work from home, but when you begin just now go outside, how you go out out there, you know, certain things there, but from when our own professional knowledge there. Things the way they don't and do that way we will help we we will really appreciate that. Okay, thank you very much, Ma. Um, definitely all the feedback here, I will take them on board. Um, some of them as some of them suggest suggestion and feedback. I think they will be done discussed already. Um, but at least now where they come up, where they come up from on so they underline the importance of um, um, and also validate with him will be they come up with before for say a better layer, the guidance come from the public. Okay. So I uh, thank you, thank you very much for all the people and also for attending but, and is, um, 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 everybody busy. But also I don't show say everything we try to do that's until we're all interested in. We they also ask everybody a huge favor for pass the word around. But once you are not want is I don't want really work don't go around. The people in Manchester end up missing out. So at the big C, we will in Manchester let we show support for real program. Because in time to come, the audience might be a lot larger than this. So I ask you, yeah, let we show support for real program. And if you not get any feedback, any ideas, any suggestions, please come forward. Put them forward to so we, we will take them on board. No idea, no day way we will look at and turn up in our blind eye or turn up with nose to have any idea when I get to bring them forward. Also, if any um, health professionals in there, they are able to spare some time for lending professionalism to this forum. We hopefully um, welcome them. Um, somebody want to ask question? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, somebody raise your hand. I don't unmute you. Yeah. Yes, let me, um, Anita. I just want to say, because as we are talking about mental health, I just concerned about the kids and youth, because, you know, they don't close for school for quite a long time. So we need to consider them first, please, because we don't know what they partake in now. Once they close down, this close down, what they do at home, all that won't go be after the breakdown all that go go affect them because most time we africans we think for ourselves the adult we can forget about the beginning so please no remember that first because that is very important the youth and the kids they need yeah, that's really a good, attention that's a good point man I am Sisirugi and Mr. Ibrahim then go take note of this and then go include them as part of the delivery material. But a very good point because everyone and you know most of us get picking it. At the same time, they say the picking and not even know if they're on holiday or they're still in our school or what. Because they tell us they're not gonna do. But also they know they go to school, but they tell us then they can't study, so it's a bit confusing. But by God power, uh, God will look after them also. Um we professionals them in that field. Um, then go include this um, any measures we go help with then go include them as part of the, the delivery material but well, thank you very much it's a good point mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody within the team want to add to that Sisigugi or Mr. Ibrahim or Doctor anybody want to add to that okay um, mm -hmm. you hear me? yes yes Mr. Sisi yes. yes Mr. Sisi yes. and obviously now very interesting project the world you do so and this issue of mental health obviously we about to try to highlight there say that in the way we find very difficult to talk about which is obviously it even uh talk about normal language say if you say this person increase or you know they can't even know if I should yourself with at all but it's very good for long get time for make we for no say look we're not different to any other person you know, we we'll only go through the same mental issues then as anybody else. 
So if I for law gets way for able for break down them barriers and they for talk about them. Obviously, after this COVID uh, nineteen thing, this problem of carry on. You know, an issue the way they were always done there. They before this pandemic and after the pandemic, they always came for day there. You know, throughout life, uh, so it's very much important. You know, we we'll, we'll come together, we we'll try to work together, and uh, obviously we will try to come up with them um, different um, uh, ways and um, we will make people become very interactive. As I say throughout the introduction, uh, 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 say we we'll have to make this as much as interactive, but let everybody get involved. You know, for just be one person. Uh, regarding the beginning, which we can do, sometimes you know we yourself can fall fall to uh, uh, fall fall to that as well. Say you know we, do, we ignore the beginning and there would be when we trauma we go through, we difficult and go through, especially this lockdown we we'll go through. So some of the things that we self need for do, we make sure to create space for that beginning at us. We say we never feel too much uh, relaxed. Like uh, what's me to do? Obviously, I'll bring in the experience and see how can they. We have other family there. We they all there is proper there. So now I will have to do. I will have to expand on. So now a good topic, and I feel say we all will benefit from this. I believe that. And for most I don't see so today the 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 the, the interest for people will show. It make I feel more passionate to say that we are going to for carry on further, and probably even give me the, the impetus to go do more research even than I probably know to bring more in. So I'm glad you for say for for this response way. I don't just see so now. Really happy, honestly. I'm really happy, and I hope so. We all work together to get somewhere. We will benefit. We will be beneficial to we, to we all as a community. And I believe say with this, you know, na, 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 as as you said, uh, facilitator say that we tomorrow beginning to say we benefit from. So na na na, na good start this. Thank you very much, Mr. Sisi. Sisi, um, okay. You say if you want to add anything on that? Yeah. Um. Just with just with uh, within. Um, Dr. Kamara and everybody don't talk about anyway. So I'm really happy because where this team is start force, maybe feel for say people and all seem for interested in mental health. But as Adija and, uh, and Abad and Brian come up and everybody else, um, Memuna and Anita, now very good topic for talk about. So the way we maybe to think about because obviously John Dakar would say some people them. Then go feel if they begin to talk about mental health, then go feel for saying that then they talk about. We go ease the subject in, you know, like um slowly, you know, um I go call myself for let people they know sensitively, then nobody not feel for say na in and they talk about, or anybody know for say get mental health problem, you know. We all they relax with Twitter, how the, the session and they go. Then subject and then topic, then they will get for come again and again and again. The more we they talk about it, that the more people they will feel relaxed for say, okay, now you know they're not going for can talk about them problem, then at the public. You understand? But if we get place them, we say we go um space for meet with people or for talk with people, so that then people and they then say go not for say yes, because some people they want for talk to people, but because of this problem for say, I want to talk to you, they go talk, you go talk about my business. Exactly. So we will not get that space there. We will try to get that space there. We will, put, we will go meet up with people, talk, and confidentiality as health professionals, that is very, very key. You know they can't talk about person in business where you, de where you don't talk to you, especially about in health. So that one day, you go all that person there to account for where you talk about you, if you go talk about your business in the street. You understand? So yeah. we just give people a reassurance as well. But the anything where we talk, if not, if we get that, that space day, if it, it gets it get for happen at all, if we get that space day, it not go ever get for commodity, it not for ever commodity, which we don't talk, that day if for day. Confidentiality gets to be as much as possible. Thank huh? you very much, Ma. Thank you very much. Um, For time, I will say um, we will kind of wrap up. Um, As per the agenda where we share at the start, is that um, we group lead, um, Dr. Kamar, We'll give you a few words where we will take away and uh, prepare we for the next session. And after that, we will ask um, Auntie Abba Graham for say a Christian prayer for we. Then we will close. So, um, Dr. Kamara, if you can give me a closing statement, we will prepare, we will wait we more for the next um, session, please, sir. Dr. Kamara? Opportunity where we all don't get to, you know, as I say, uh, 
people like that for pay money for them can't hear. But we now, as a group, we decide for let we come together and try for help with young people there. And hopefully, this is not just the beginning. And as I say, just like how uh, Mr. Sise comments just now, you know, uh, although we know that Boku as it were, but as I say, probably based on the response we'll get to today, there's nothing else but forward. Uh, uh, now we will get for move. I, I, I can sense I'm say we don't de- wait for this thing for some time. And now, at the opportunity, this, as I say, as I tell you, this now, I say every cloud gets silver lining. You know, uh, now we say, make we talk about health. Now people are not begin to come up with uh, ideas. Proper ones we get for do with team where they afflict the Afro Caribbean population. You know, and the inequalities what they face. So clearly, for me, this now music to me, yes, you know. I'm so happy, say, by God's grace, this team finally don't come to fruition. It don't take off. And all we need to do, all we need to do, and for them to come together. So as I say, it could not have happened at a better time. You know, sadly, COVID don't take some of the people in. And for that, uh, you know, we all, they cry. We all, they rub and, and rub the face and all that. But we were there now. Now we now get to grab this opportunity we uh, all man present to we or they could come together, you know, and, and, and move this thing. And I, I guarantee you, judging by which you don't get today when I try and run, I, I sure say the world could begin to circulate, and very soon we all could begin to jump up and say, I tell you what, wow, this was something we didn't think would actually materialize or maybe, you know, expand like it has now. And believe me, which mind them, then the NGO, the, 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 the support group, them, the, the small sports team, they not at the beginning. And I so please say at least we get different different walks of life. People in the who a mental health, who a social worker, who a medic, who a uh, 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 other specialty, you know, nutritionist, and all that bring together all for waiting for the betterment of people. You understand? Because if you get well body, I guarantee you, you gently pass the person which I say get money. Because the money get money, that one thing they na eat, yeah, is the first for lay he able to maintain that money day to that level. Therein lies the danger because when you depend for maintaining that, you need to sleep in a net. And I tell you what, of the five leading killer diseases in the world, sleep deprivation gets role for play by all of them. All of them, by none. You talk about cancer, sleep deprivation gets a lot for play by none. Yeah? So, so clearly, when we sit down and talk about that, the Maui and gentry man, all you want to do is for maintaining that, but all you do here is, in other words, why to defend the money if they actually destroy life? This comes to play, and you can see I'm absolutely obvious, absolutely you know, clear, crystal clear. Say there, that's the position. So, so as I begin, so I'm not saying when I go to get interest, the kind of talk, I did small, 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 that's how we do it. So, clearly, this is something we've been doing the dream about for a long, long time. And thankfully, they say dog dream left and better, but this dog in dream. Thankfully, it don't come out. You know, left line belly. It came out. People are listening, and at least we don't get to it. So, bravo to everybody. Thank you so much for all our concerns and our interest and our contribution. And I believe once we go deep on this thing, we are absolutely on broad flight, you know, success in this particular by God's name. I don't say by other person, but this by God's name, we must improve we health status and we health inequalities. We get to address them in this country. So thank you one and all. Feel proud of yourself for what you don't do. And I really urge you now for me to get on board to make you go forward. Thank you so much and God bless we all. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, I go ask the chairman, uh, Mr. Joseph Kaloko, the chairman for the Australian Organization of Greater Manchester. Well, I give you a short closing remarks, then we'll pray. And uh, because we consciously people in some other fast and other people get other things for good. So I go ask Mr. Joseph Kaloko, please, for give you a short remarks. I'm going mute you. I'm going mute you now. So if you can give you a short remarks, please, sir. Thank you. Please. Thank you, Mr. Fula, for giving me the audience. Once again, me and the chairman for the community. Um, yeah, like what you said no at the beginning, say the purpose for this gathering today, that for make sure, say, we support your community, bring the well, uh, health and well-being information to we own community, you know, through we national language, we the Creole. And I appreciate you now, and I thank you all for coming with salient points, which of course the leading organization, when the, is, you know, slum itself, will take this into account. 
Um, issues like um, Auntie Abba bring about, you know, providing confidentiality helpline. We don't document them, then they will look into them. Because um, mental well being, the part and parcel within our community, we need for look after because many other issues they happen, we be say they, you know, give people a mental health, you know, problems. But again, coming back to Dr. Kamara, he own advice where he can feel say the COVID now very stressing, you know, what is at the moment. And them as professionals, then go and give them a priority unless if we the community feel say, yes, we for bring the mental well-being issues forward, then obviously they get for, you know, be flexible in their approach. Then Dr. Kamara talk about, you know, household composition, as we put up, a very, very important, mainly with the Africans and other BME, you know, Black, Asian and minority ethnics. You get, you know, multi-generational household living together and sometimes things can be really, really difficult, i.e. this, you know, pandemic, for example. If you get a household of 10 people living together, how can they exercise the protocol of social distancing? It's very impossible, you see? But then again, that's an issue we'll get for discuss, like what Mr. Kamara, you know, Dr. Kamara point out, issues of inequality, why some people are treated differently to the others. That that's get for pinpoint. Then coming back to the post-COVID-19 pathway where Antiaba actually hit on, I really appreciate on that. Now, two we'll get for look at within our leadership at SLOM. This include all the executive. Then obviously, um, Mr. Cameron throw a point which I catch you. Um, say, well, SLOM get for take, you know, kind of a, a leading role in signposting, you know, the community on social needs, which actually is part of we one meeting where I'll be chair. Part of the agenda was to do that, but we just, you know, I really appreciate Mr. Kamara for bringing that as well as a professional lead. Then Adija, the time we come back with for say, timing is very important. That's really significant because what can happen now with community, community based on experience, sometimes if you don't give people time for media absorb or integrate to whatever, you know, something that they try to promote, let them feel comfortable, they can just withdraw totally because they, they feel say well why then they can't you know you know we'll get to win what we can put up so slum for taking the lead on what topic to discuss is very essential and i just and i input that so i will try for bring down at the next meeting as a point of discussion maybe we will involve a few others you know to come through and um, bring in Rugi and Tirugi adjusted, try for what is self him bring about confidentiality, which is very important because we get for protect people at the end of the day. Then trust me, I make them they give away the responsibility. If they're not trust me, they not will give away. So then in that area, we'll get for actually look into then strictly for the benefit of Manchester people, oh, Mr. Fuller actually bring them say this year, we no go once let people them outside. What I mean by outside, maybe London or America, get for join me later to you know try and observe the initiative in a positive way. Then then can find out say Manchester they be end, you know we know they catching up or do try forget you know what in actually the projects meant to be. So we we'll go encourage all Manchester people and for take the lead on this for take um, you know first benefits and uh, able for make sure say yes. This now for we now I start and law make use of them. So do I, I go appeal? Then coming back, um, but all this we're not going to able to do it without you know some people having to volunteer. We need donations because what it can happen sometimes if not they get financial support or any other support, things are really hard for say no more all the time, you know, with the try for put into the organization account or whatever, then we need more people as well for come forward and see who side and feel say then we will help low self, you know, then and come forward and help who side and we will help. For borrow the words of um, Dr. Kamara, which now for nail the coffin, I'm sorry I got for use that, but you know, me self they dance to the music, you know, where they play right now. I really appreciate them and I thank Kunam for come.
and you know show na you know believe show na trust and show na commitment so i think we'll for left and there you know for now then back to you, mr fuller thank you very much mr kaloko yes. um the chairman and the group lead don tankuna um don't give na all the last word um please may we continue for show support by attending the sessions and providing feedback and suggestions um i will call this session now to close i will ask auntie abagria we i will ask alia for lay kindly and um, say a short prayer for we and send we off and i thank you all for our patience um auntie aba please say a short prayer for we yes uh, papa god we just give you thanks we give you thanks for we bring we together um not you know the happen until the right time and i feel say this is not the right time we don't bring we together and as we the sky forget sagalonians then manchester we hope we could continue for pull together to your name to waiting you can make we do collectively so we can strengthen because this is all about our community so we give you grace and we thank you to and continue to open our hearts and open our minds make we see within these professional and expertise and it's guide for do for help we all na this manchester and we were the in the forum today papa god open people they at let them take the word go before let them make sure see other people times two times four come next time where we did together so we can all they learn together so because when we learn together i know say to go you we can strengthen together so i thank you lot for today for dr kamara in insight for the expertise that we did in front of we for the one for the people that we come on the forum i all i thank you for all of us and with you bring for we today so as we go and as we left let we take the word to go before to go your name amen amen, amen. Thank you very much um Antiaba and thank you very much to everybody thank you for your patience god bless we will soon as soon we will communicate the next session to us soon it will be next week Saturday thank you guys very much bye bye thank you thank you